Hey guys, welcome back to the Struggleville 2 YouTube channel. For this video, we're going to check out the latest Harbor Freight Inside Track Club coupons. These are the July coupons. They go throughout the entire month of July, and we got them early. It is only June 24th. Now you may notice, we're on the second channel. What the hell? Well, here's the thing. It's my little nugget of appreciation for those of you who have decided to cross over, go from the main channel to the second channel. You're getting all the coupons early. We're still going to do a website post on or about July 1st, and I may or may not do a separate video for everyone on the main channel for these, but uh, just as a thank you for following along, you guys get them early. Now, because the website post isn't up yet, you can purchase these online just using this number below the barcode as your coupon code or take a screenshot on your phone and then you can buy in store. Of course, you are supposed to be an Inside Track Club member to use these coupons, technically speaking. So your mileage may vary. You may run across a cashier who, uh, you know, thinks it's money out of their pocket and doesn't want to let you use the coupons, but... Hey, it's worth a shot, right? This thing just looks awful. <laughs> and it's Chicago Electric, so you know it's one of the older brands. I mean, it's corded, $24.99. Uh, I guess it's not an awful price, but... Boy, with all the cordless tools out nowadays, I don't, I don't know. I guess it's cheaper. That's pretty cool. The half-inch drive digital torque adapter. It's been out for a little while now, but kind of a neat thing. You'll notice a lot of the inside track club stuff is uh, very close to 20% or sometimes less than 20% off. So if you see an item you like, uh, it's definitely worth checking uh, both for a 20% coupon or go on my website, use the Harbor Freight coupon search, put in the item number, and see if a better coupon is available besides the entire track club coupon. You know, one thing that's kind of interesting about uh, Harbor Freight and their monthly coupon catalogs is they have several different versions. And because I'm an inside track club member, I don't know if this is because I'm an inside track club member, but I get two versions. I get a regular version and I get the Inside Track Club version, and every single time, the regular version will have some coupons that are better than the ones in the Inside Track Club version. I'm thinking, wait a second, the Inside Track Club people pay extra for this membership, and they're getting the worst coupons? Why don't they get the better coupons? Oh, because you've already snagged them, and you know they're going to be shopping in your store, so why give them the benefit of good coupons? It's ridiculous. This thing, the O-Ring Assortment, they have metric and they have SAE, which who knew O-rings were so specific. I bought both sets a long time ago. Saved my ass in a couple situations already. It's one of those replenishables. You guys know I love that stuff. And I've, I've bought almost everything under the Storehouse brand, especially when they have the 30% coupons, which we haven't seen in a while because of everything going on, but hopefully that comes back. But I just love having all that kind of stuff. Save you money so you're not out in a rush overpaying somewhere else because you need it like right now, right now. And uh, it sure is easier to complete a project when you know, you're trying to fix something and you find out the O-ring's bad on something. And it's like, ah, now i got to go all the way to the store to get an O-ring and blah, blah, blah. No, nah, i got a whole assortment. i got hundreds of them. I'll find one that works. These things ticked me off the other day. i got the, the long nose Bremen locking pliers. For a while, I was I was of the mindset that they were pretty decent, but then I was fighting a brake bleeder screw the other day that probably hasn't been touched in 15 or 20 years, and they just annoyed the hell out of me. They just they have no bite, and then the damn jaws would just twist, and I wasn't even like I wasn't putting twisting pressure. I was trying to clamp down, and they would they would jog sideways. I was like, oh god, these are awful. It's the only thing I can get in there with. I did eventually get it out, but it was completely destroyed by then. So then uh, I had to go buy and overpay. Pay 10 bucks for like two brake bleeder screws. When 
the entire wheel cylinder was only twelve ninety nine, but that had to be special ordered, and I was in a hurry, so I got screwed on that deal. I really want offset boxed wrenches. How handy would those be? They're always really expensive. These aren't too bad. Twelve ninety nine, but if you went to uh pff, more uh reputable brands or more uh name brand stuff, they're really expensive. Menards has had these free after rebate plenty of times. I actually have my miter saw and my table saw both on these. Not like while I use them, but when they're not in use, really easy to roll around in the basement, concrete floor, get that stuff all up out of the way. Of course, Menards hasn't had any items for free in a very, very long time because of our current situation, which shall not be named, but everyone knows. Flat free tire, nineteen ninety nine. These things really are expensive. But uh, I got a little a rain barrel cart. I put a 55-gallon plastic drum sideways in a lawn cart from Menards, and then it's hooked up to a, a gutter hanging off the side of my shed so it you know, collects rainwater and everything for watering some of the trees and stuff out here. And it's got air pneumatic tires that are always flat. So I replaced one with a flat free tire, but the whole cart was only a hundred bucks. If I replace all four, I'm gonna spend almost as much in tires as the whole thing. And I saw some people complaining that when there was a little bit of sideways uh, weight shift, that the rubber on the flat free. Not that I didn't buy the Harbor Freight one; it was a different brand. But it would it would like crumble or break. And I was like, oh man, for this much money, it better not. UV blacklight flashlight five ninety nine. We see some Amazon promo codes on those. I don't know if I'd want one of those in the house. I don't. I don't want to know what I would find. This stuff is awesome. I don't know if that's a good price for it, but. Uh, Get any kind of sticky residue off of anything. Of course, I'm selling stuff on eBay all the time, and there's price tags and different things you got to get off. I've gone through just bottles and bottles of that. You'd think I'd know what the price is, but it works really well. You also notice with these Inside Track Club coupons, they are almost exclusively the old brands. You see very little of the new stuff, like Icon or Hercules or Bauer, or like we saw the Bremen thing earlier, which that's one of the newer brands. We did see one Quinn item earlier, but as a majority, as you're looking through this, it's all the older stuff on top of the coupon not being amazing. You know, the prices. There are some gems in here where it is surprisingly large discount but and you don't pay a ton for the inside track club if you buy it online you actually get a ten dollar gift card you don't get that in the store but it's twenty nine ninety nine for a year and then you get the ten dollar gift card gift cards so you're only paying twenty bucks you get early access to the parking lot sales you get weekly coupons which is only like twelve weekly coupons and then you get this monthly coupon so I know, like, you're not going to get the U.S. General toolboxes, like, 50% coupons or anything. You're not going to get that. But can you at least make the prices better than a 20% coupon or better than the free coupons that are just available, like, in the newspaper or whatever? It just If you shop there enough, it's still a benefit because it's not ridiculously expensive, but they really, I mean, it's not a huge deal. I like these clips, though. And they'll do coupons once in a while for this for 99 cents. Sometimes when they do parking lot sales, which are hopefully coming back soon, uh, you'll see these for 99 cents in parking lot sales. I bought like 10 of them because they are super handy. I keep them uh, latched in the back of the truck with a cargo net, and it's worked pretty good. 100-foot laser distance meter by Ames. That's way too much. 29.99. it's only a 100-footer. They are all over the place on Amazon, and I would imagine they are just as good, if not better quality. And this thing only looks like it has two buttons on it, 
a lot of the Amazon ones, not that I would know how to do this, but they do all sorts of angles and finding area and everything. And maybe this one does too, but I find it hard to believe it could do that with only two buttons. Anyway, we can find them a lot cheaper, even without promo codes. If you just typed in distance meter on Amazon, you would probably find several for under $30. Um, so I definitely wouldn't buy that. And only 100 foot. Uh, most of the Amazon ones will start at 131 and then they go to 196 um, I think two something and 329 I don't know what all of them are but also if you're willing to pay up you want one with a green laser which I don't know what this one doesn't say I would imagine it's red but the green laser is uh, easier to see that's one downside of the laser distance measures is in a bright day or out in daylight if you're shooting far you can't see that red beam at night it's not as big of a deal but how many people are measuring things in the middle of the night Well, wrench rack's kind of interesting, four ninety nine. I have a Craftsman one that's similar that I really like. This helping hands things for two ninety nine, that's a good buy right there. It's a little rinky dink kind of crappy, you know, whatever. It's only two ninety nine, but it's got the alligator clips there. This stuff moves all over. It's got the magnifying glass. There's been a couple of times. I didn't really save my ass. Most recently, looking at a wiring schematic for the Corvette going through the windshield wiper scenario, getting them fixed, which, by the way, they're fixed. Um, you know, it's an old scan of a scan, so all the lines are fuzzy, and they all run together to begin with. And I'm getting old now, so I need a magnifying glass to see these things. But I was able to fold up the paper so it fit in the alligator clips, and I was just holding onto the, the little uh, magnifying glass, and following along, and pff, it was worth two ninety nine. Just help me with that. I might pick these up just to test them out. The only ones I have, and I have a very similar set, but they're the step bits, not the stepless bits. I just wonder how good these things are, maybe how fast they'd go dull. Those step bits are, are nice, though. Real easy. Give yourself a hole. Hole's not big enough? Just jam it in a little farther. Make it bigger. It's great. Fantastic. I love it. The Dead Blow Hammers, if you don't have one, they have... A bunch of them in different weights. Very handy. Tractable dog leash, not the greatest quality. I have a 17, 18 pound dog and a 30 pound dog. And I've broke a couple of these. I actually went to just a different brand because they kept breaking. Um, but it says up to, oh it used to say on here. Uh, it says up to like 50 pounds or 80 pounds or I don't know what the hell it says but it used to say right on it. Or maybe the non-inside track club coupons have more information. Anyway, broke. Speaking of not good, these dual drive ratchets. It's not that they're not good. That They're not practical. I don't know when you'd ever use them. I bought these things over a year ago because I thought uh, maybe I'd find a scenario where... They, uh, I, I shouldn't have bought them. It was stupid. They have 3 8 drive on one side and then half-inch drive on the other. And then the other one is quarter-inch drive on one side and 3 8 drive on the other. And... Uh, I bought them, and they're also they're um they're like offset, kind of angled. It kind of swoops this way. So depending on what side you're using, you're either getting closer to what you're tightening or releasing, or you're backing it up a little bit. The only thing I have found that I like about it is like let's say you're using the three eighths drive side, you have the half inch drive sticking out, so you can grab it with your hand and actually just manually spin it, which is uh, a little bit beneficial. But it's so bulky. If you could get this in somewhere, you could probably get a cordless ratchet in there and that's more ideal I just haven't found a practical use for them at all and then when I bought mine I returned the first one because it was all beat up it just looked like hell and I didn't pay attention when I first bought it so obviously it was a refurbished one where they just you know maybe changed out the guts and put it back on the on the shelf and then when I went to return it and get a new one everyone on the rack was all beat up and I thought jeez I don't know probably shouldn't be too picky for two ratchets at what was it 9.99 
the, it's funny that he wears the helmet to show the sleeves. It's interesting. These are really handy to have. There's been a bunch of times where I've been working on something. I only had the shorties and then, of course, the little collar for the, the socket part. You know, avoids you getting into the tunnel or wherever space it is. I don't have these specifically, but I have a set that looks remarkably similar. Probably the exact same thing. And mine's by WorkPro, but just the, the concept is very handy. Another thing it's handy to have in the garage, the little pick and hook set. Once you have one, you'd be amazed how many times you think, hey, I should be using that right now. Beats the hell out of trying to do this with a screwdriver. Look how much tire, or how much tire, how much cheaper the pneumatic tire is. I think the other one was a 10-inch tire, too. And this one's $3.99, but the flat, fleet, flat free was, what, $28.99 or something? It's crazy. I guess you'd be better off just keep on replacing that thing. All right, guys, we have made it to the end. As I said, I'll definitely do a post on the website with the pictures, you know, the whole thing, so you can click on them and go through them yourself on or around July 1st. And then uh, I haven't decided if I'm going to do a video or anything different on the main channel, but uh, you guys get it early. You get a week early. Who else has these a week early? Nobody. Lazy asses just don't put in the work. Anyway. Thanks for watching, guys. Make sure to give the video a like. Subscribe if you're not already a subscriber. I'll see you next time.